Welcome all vertexy movers, edge bevelers, and poly pushers from around the world. This is JL Musi, and welcome to my video. When it comes to 3D modeling, a lot of time is spent making selections. Every component that we wish to manipulate first has to be selected one way or the other. Having a good understanding of all the selection tools within Maya can save us considerable amounts of time and definitely speed up our modeling workflow. I've compiled a list of my top five Maya selection tools. I primarily took into account these two factors when making the list. One, how often I find myself using them. Two, most importantly, how much time they actually save me when making selections. So let's go ahead and get on with the countdown. The great thing about the paint selection tool is that natively, it only selects what's right in front of you uh, versus the marquee select tool that you're probably used to using. That will actually select everything in front of you and natively will select things behind you. Uh, a lot of times that's not what you want uh, and then you end up selecting and then going around and deselecting faces, right? And if you're coming from a package like ZBrush or just like a painting, uh, or sculpting workflow, this kind of lends itself well with that, right? So um, you can hold down tab and you can just add to your selection. Um, if you want to go ahead and deselect, uh, you will basically just go over the faces that you selected. And if you want to go ahead, always add to your selection, you hold down tab and then you hold down control as well. So that will not toggle, but it will only add to your selection. One great use of the paint select tool uh, comes down to when you don't have uh, perfect quads, right? So I'm just going to take this eyeball here, isolate it, and you see that this pole right here that we have, a lot of times this can be problematic selecting it in a clean and quick way. So when we have uh, loops, it's pretty easy, right? You just select one loop, whether it be a face or an edge, and you just hold down shift and double click anywhere on that loop and you have that loop selection. But when it comes to poles, we either can select one by one, which is pretty time consuming, or we can take a stab at it and try the uh, marquee selection. But oftentimes uh, we select things that we don't want to and then we'll probably have selection in the back that we have to deselect. So none of these methods are ideal for selecting poles. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect this I'm going to hold down tab and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint my selection. So you can see very quickly that it's a great method for selecting things with poles such as spheres or cylindrical caps. So that is the paint selection tool. The next selection method I want to talk about is face center. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select this boot armor here isolated and let's just say I wanted to pick out this panel line right so with the default Maya selection method it's very difficult so I'm just going to go to Windows settings preferences and revert back to the default which is if I go under selection here and I go back to whole face I will have the default selection method in Maya right so and how that works is basically that anytime that your uh, selection tool touches any part of that face, the whole face will be selected. And that works well for a lot of scenarios, but anytime that you're trying to select faces that are very small, it can be problematic. So let's just uh, say I wanted to maybe select this panel line and get rid of it, right? With the default method, it's gonna be kind of cumbersome, even though if I come right down the middle, it, it's actually gonna take a lot of selection and a de deselection, right? Which is not ideal, this is gonna take quite a bit of time. So I'm gonna show you an easier way how to select something like this panel line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and deselect it. Um, I'll go to Windows, Settings Preferences, and I will go back to Selection and turn this back on Center. And if you actually been working around Maya for a while, you know that this was the default uh, selection method back in older copies of Maya, okay? So I'll go ahead and hit save. You see that face centers are now enabled. So with face centers enabled, you actually have to encompass the whole face to, or I'm sorry, you have to encompass that actual uh, face center to make the face selection. 
So now with face centers enabled, I can go in here and I'll just go ahead and shift click here and add to my selection. And you'll notice that so, or avoiding the large faces is quite easy with this mode, right? So I could just quickly delete this, go in here and select this range, select this range, and now I get a quick, nice, easy bridge. So that is face center selection mode. So the next selection method I wanna talk about is uh, edge perimeter, right? If I go here to wireframe, it might be easier to see, but I basically wanna select this edge perimeter here. And how I did that was with the edge perimeter option. So uh, in essence, I'm just gonna go ahead and first start off with a face selection and then enable the face perimeter option. You can see that if I just start out with uh, the edge selection and just double clicking uh, edges, you see really quickly that I'm gonna get some bleeding here into the corners. Areas like this are gonna be pretty uh, tight and difficult to add and then deselect things. So this is where the uh, edge a perimeter option could come in handy, right? So I'm gonna go here to my face mode, just clear that out. I'm gonna hold down tab and then just quickly paint this, holding down tab, which is my paint selection tool. And from here, I'll go ahead and do control and right click. I'll go to edges and then to edge perimeter. And you see that it basically took the perimeter of those faces and converted to edge selection. This is a pretty quick way of selecting certain perimeters of edges. And then uh, maybe I could go in here and um, disconnect these components and double click this and now I could basically just pull this out, right? So that is the edge perimeter select option. Next on the list, I wanna talk about uh, shrinking and growing your selection. So uh, here, if I go under select, you'll see that I have the grow and the shrink. Um, these are very useful when you actually want to make uh, selections uh, based off your topology. So let's just say here that uh, maybe I wanted to uh, cut how his arm a little bit higher. Maybe I want to extend this uh, armor piece well into his elbow. I'm just going to go ahead and select my body, isolate it. I'll go here and uh, start the selection. I'll hold down tab and I'll just paint this uh, arm cap that I have. And I can go to select and grow. If I want to go ahead and do this via the shortcuts, I'm on the window side, so I'll do shift and period. And you see that it'll grow the selection based on the edge flow. So anytime that you have a model uh, with some decent topology, you can take advantage of this tool, right? Uh, on the flip side, if I hold down shift and comma, I will go ahead and shrink my selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and grow this up about the elbow here. And then I'll go ahead and delete this. And if I wanted to cap it out, I could just uh, select these edges do an extrude and then do a uh, merge and collapse this to the center and I'll have a nice cap to my um, model. So that is the shrink and the grow selection method. The last selection tool I wanna to talk about is select similar. And this one by far to me is actually uh, one of the biggest time savers. Anytime that you have uh, repeatable patterns where you're selecting very similar faces over and over, Selecting them by hand can be actually very tedious. So I'm just gonna go in here and let's just say I wanted to select all these rings and there's quite a few of them. Selecting them by hand would take uh, quite a bit of time. So I'm just gonna select this mesh, isolated, and to use select similar, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this ring right here and I'll go to select and select similar. And there you go. It looked at this uh, face selection and it selected all these similar polygons. And that is the select similar selection tool. This wraps up my top five Maya selection tools. I hope that you guys enjoyed my list. Hopefully you were able to discover some new selection tools to incorporate in your Maya selection workflows. So what are your favorite selection tools of Maya? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. 
Thanks for watching.